Yeah. You can put that on my tab. Black Hawk Facility Training Repel Center. It's gonna get crazier. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning guys and welcome to another day of Drift Week. We are in Houston right now at the Houston Police Academy. So this is actually where they train police officers how to take down criminals, how they learn advanced driving. They have a full SWAT range, automatic pistol and gun range. This is police cars everywhere. It's a wild place. So we're here today for two days to do some drifting and we started with some problems. So let's get into it. So first casualty. Mr. Jimmy Oaks. So Jimmy had some punctures yesterday. It turns out he's got some loose bolts. He's got some tire issues. So basically Jimmy needs to fix all four corners of his 350Z, tighten everything up, and he should be ready to rim today. So this might be the car we're driving today. So Wayne's jacked up the G37. There's a lot of filings in the oil, or not the oil, in the power steering fluid. So we think that the pump, which we replaced last week, is going again. It's a hard car on pumps. So they've put an engine in this one. Another high rev 350Z, so we might ask the boys can we drive this today and try and get a pump sorted for the G37 to get it back out later today or tomorrow. It's hard on the car, it's like you're doing, well, I've done what, three or four days drifting on the car and I've done about two and a bit thousand miles on the car and yesterday was nine hours driving on the road, so it's just a bit of hardship on it. So we might take this today, do some skids on this track which looks really, really cool. So uh, catch up in a few minutes when um, we know what's happening. Wayne, I feel it's a bit of deja vu here. Yeah, I think I've done this before. So what we found out is that this pump, now we don't know if this is gonna make a big difference, but this was for a four-wheel four steer G37S. S. But the guy in O'Reilly Auto Parts reckons it's not the right one for this car, but he does have one in stock. So we're gonna run and grab it. Planes are like... They said no drones on this track and I'm gonna get stick by it on this one. See yeah. why? So we're gonna get another one of these, throw it in the car. Hopefully that solves the problem. The, heavy, the steering is heavy and there's a little bit of filing in the. Filing in the aisle, yeah. Yeah. So I think it's not worth because if you do, you can hurt the rack if you don't change them. So the rack's good. So we're gonna change that. I'm gonna take the blue 350Z out for a couple of laps just to feel it out. That's very similar to Jimmy's car. So I might go out with Jimmy for a couple of spins when he gets his sorted. So this is a little bit of preventative maintenance more than things breaking, which is unlike us at drift games. But we want to keep this thing moving.
Wanna come for a spin? I go for a spin. I'd say everyone's getting a little bit confident on this track now. Yeah, that's for sure. on all kinds of grip levels there. It's slippy, I have no front end grip because there's semi slicks on the back and road tires on the front. So there's a lot going on there. Gearbox doesn't want to change into gear. There we go. You'll see when the clutch heats up, it won't go into gear. So Adam is back with news. Sorry, to be So they thought they had, they did have, but it was completely wrong. Fittings all wrong, lines all wrong. And man was like, oh, look, I'm really not going to be able to do anything here. I can only get it here by half five. And we were like... Three weeks in Ireland. Yeah, it literally, you'd have, to send out, you'd have to send out smoke signals and have a tribunal and meetings. Well, I've got some news for you guys too. While we were away... You blew up the car, didn't wah, wah. <laughs> Clutch went in the 350. Don't be stressing, Adam. Stressing. So the reality is drift week now. We're, we're in the deep of it. End. We're down in the middle of it now. Oh, I broke the spitter. Oh, I broke the spitter. Ah, well, you broke a clutch, so... Didn't break the clutch. Well, it doesn't work very well, Dave. <laughs> I didn't break it. It broke itself. It I, was didn't, I didn't break the splitter. The ground broke the splitter. Fair, fair point. <laughs> yeah. It might just be something silly like it needs to be bled. The clutch pedal is really low. Wayne only loves a challenge. He was even driving back from the O'Reilly's and he was like, oh, I'm going to have to get dirty tomorrow. He was like, you're going to have to get dirty today, Wayne. Go, Wayne, yeah. go. Go, 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 go. go, go, go. And go, 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 go. We're busy. We're busy. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick break in this video to thank one of our partners and one of our best partners, Link ECU. They've been with us for years, providing us with all the engine management stuff that we need for all of our cars, whether it's the street cars or the drift cars. They have catered for everybody. The stuff is amazing. We're building a Verosa right now, all Link stuff. We're building an S15 with a 3SG, all Link stuff. We know those engines are going to run smooth and reliably because of the control and the monitoring we can do through the Link ECU stuff. So check out their full range at linkecu.com. Doing a bit of a tour at the moment. <laughs> this is almost a mandatory American spin at this point, true. isn't it? It's true, every drift week. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> so, we're going to be doing some tandem with Ben Hobson. You may know him from Formula D, he's a Pro 2 driver.
pretty much a, a stock 350 going up against a 500 horsepower Mustang. Credit where credit is due. Hell yeah. I gotta fudge the entry just a little bit to keep up with them, and after that, we're good. I seen you back like <laughs> I back to have my camera out the window. I was like, oh god. Dude, I was in there. I heard he it. did this. He said, he yeah, screwed it in. He pulled back. He tried to zoom out with his body. I love it. Did you enjoy that? I was, yeah. yeah. That, was, that, was, that was a good time. That was alright. That was alright. That was decent at best. Where'd you go from there? Up, oh, maybe. Up. Oh, if we leave a mark next time. It's gonna get crazier. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Said earlier, the facility that we're in is a Houston Police Academy, to be precise, and it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an art facility where we walk through the bog. Yeah, it's a bit oh, squelching everywhere. And we've been to racetracks literally all across the globe, but none with a shooting range. Which one would you aim at? I, I definitely shoot you anyway. One thing. Look at the, Lucky, I'm not standing there. Josh, have a look at the, the mannequin there again. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to leave you guys to decide whatever you make of that. Shooting range is one, but does yours have a Black Hawk facility training repel center? No idea if we're actually allowed to go up here. We haven't really asked for any permission. What my saying is ask for forgiveness and not for permission. Like, obviously. Why, like, why, why? Why wouldn't your racetrack have a Black Hawk full shell? You know what this is? It must be like a pedal or one. Extractor on. Fire and then you, then you go. <laughs> another stumbling block on our travels and one thing we noticed on the way in qualification pistol range we spend a lot of time to get our traveling on the road and one thing that has come very apparent this trip is there's one thing i'd love to do taser unit i'm actually scared the guys have actually got a taser I did, I did, and I didn't, yeah, they're I gonna did. tase me at some point they're gonna catch me off guard yeah i didn't buy it he says he didn't buy it i'm not too sure whether to believe him or not this is the training facility for all the 
pit maneuvers. Is that what it's called? Pit maneuvers are pit basically maneuvers. when one pilot, a robber, or someone is on a, on a getaway run, police will come up and tip, tip them back up for purposely and spin them out and then obviously neutralize them. So, so uh, they, have to train for that. they have to train for it and they have to equip the cars before this with the biggest pumper bar I have ever seen in my life. Now, I have seen some 350s turn up the Mondello with pumper bars like this, but. This is, a bit, this is a little bit extreme. Not even a, not even a headlight out. I mean, the, the side is uh, fairly bad. The door is, oh Jesus. That is a big steel on the door. No need for door bars there. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Badasses, badasses, badasses over here. F the police. Yeah. So it's a very weird place, but it's actually good to see that the cops have obviously like taken interest or like trying to get drifting off the street because they obviously realized it is happening. The, the takeovers in America are happening way more than ever before. It's actually nice that they have the facility here. They obviously use it for their own, but when obviously any day they're not using it, you can come drifting here and it's lovely. to shoot a beautiful helicopter segment and look what you did this this represents a man that's driven his car. well this is two tracks in a row driven the car to its limits we did some tandems me and jimmy oh it was good it was good it was good tandems and in the end jimmy was so close to me the tire popped and i had to keep going or else he was just going to plow into me so eventually it, it sort of curled itself in we're going to take the car so that's all Which the drive. One? You've two, you've two. You've well, the, this one, we're gonna take the wheels off this, put it back on the Johnny, Johnny two cars over Johnny here. Johnny two cars. Who am I? James Dean. <laughs> so I'm over, I'm over. I'm gonna bring the G37 back to the house. Luckily there's a garage at the house that we're staying at. And we're gonna drive it into the garage. We're gonna go to O'Reilly's and get the power steering pump. Wayne's gonna put it together in the garage. We're gonna have a brand new car for tomorrow. It's gonna be glorious. We're gonna have beers, we're gonna have pizza. Ping pong. Ping pong. Who wants to see a ping pong tournament? None of us can play ping pong. It's a really bad ping pong tournament. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> is anybody putting the hat on him anymore? No. No, was he... no, no, no it was a joke, and now he's just wearing. <laughs> Never mind. So, sorry, so, say no. Adam, Jimmy, and Wayne that have damaged the car. It's not me, so you know. Fun to see you here, okay? I'm gonna cut to ten minutes later and see if there's any improvement. Ah. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good as new. That is not good as new. Pump, and we got new clothes. 
All right, so second day at the Houston Police Academy. We're gonna go out, the G37 is now fixed, we think, and we're gonna go out and James is gonna do some chase runs with me. Now, James, this is the most dangerous part of drifting for you. I know, yeah, <laughs> You've been all over the goes wrong when I'm just following Dave. <laughs> so we're taking a big risk here. Uh, as James slowly follows me around the track, this is when it gets hairy, James. Yeah, you know what I mean? this is what all I the to... Toruns and the Rodriguez, none of them compare. To My help. anxiety is building, <laughs> just thinking about it. So we're gonna get, try and get one good lap in, and then we're gonna have some fun with this track later on. You can put that on my tab. I had a great view. Who was at fault? I don't know. It was like it was a nice transition, and it was a bit of a tap. Like you both kept going, so yeah. I'd say sweet. You saw all that. I feel really bad. <laughs> <laughs> that was like good I fun, though. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I, think, I think you may need the sledge for that one. Yeah. How are we fixing it? Go on! Uh, hey, go on! Hey, go! Go! go. Yeah, Cowboy way! way. On his head. Solution. I break, I fix. You'd never have That's actually, actually impressive. Holy crap, Jimmy, it's coming out. You see it? Yeah, is it pulling it? Yeah, it's coming out. Be proud of yourselves, gentlemen. You wouldn't even know. 40 footed bumper, yeah, 40 footed bumper. Gouging, gouging hole. Bruise the egos and a very annoyed out owner. Ready for more. Okay, so we've done our chase car stuff with James. I've chased James. We've done our twin battling with Jimmy. Smacked some cars. We had a lot of fun. We're getting towards the end of the day. Because you guys have been watching all these, I didn't want to finish this video on just a load of drifting. I wanted to do something a little bit more dramatic. So I want to do a competition. Now, a lot of you guys are asking why are Wayne, Adam and Josh not driving the car. Simple reason is, Josh and Adam drove drifting last week, I didn't. Also, Wayne is a mechanic so he doesn't want to break the car and then have to fix it himself. But what I think we should do at the end of this track is, have a little competition between Wayne, Adam and Josh. Each get a practice lap, each get a comp lap, a judge lap, and basically see who does better. None of them have driven the car before or the track before, so it won't be perfect, but it will be funny. Wayne looks confident. Uh, nervous. I just don't want to break the car. I'm just going to drive around. Will you just come on and have a bit of fun? There's no losing if you don't crash the car and just drive around. Okay, so we're going to need some judges. So I'm going to judge. James, you up for judging? I'm judging. Jimmy, you up for judging? Lovely. Loves it. And uh, so we got Dave and the two Jimmys are going to judge, and the three boys are going to go. So we got to do rock, paper, scissors to decide who goes in first. Ranger said, who's, what's rock, paper, scissors? What's rock, paper, scissors? That's the bad side. Rock, paper, scissors. Wayne's up first. Wayne's up first. Here you go. Ah. I'll give extra point if somebody can take off the bumper. Uh, no. I'll, be, I'll be deducting 50 points for that. 50 point deduction. I was hoping we put the helmet on backwards. There we go. The winner gets a free night out on the beer in Houston. That's a good prize. Can I enter? No, you can't enter. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna see the entry is a little deceiving. It's uh you think you're going too fast and you realize you're going way too slow. 
So we're gonna see how they killed on the entry, and then uh, who's gonna be the first person to heavily dirt drop in the center. We line up around for just for one practice lap. Space. Here comes oh, Wayne. Uh, It might be the first time Wayne's ever like driven a left-hand drive car here as well. So. <laughs> I didn't even think about yeah. that. Drop. I think that was a bit messy though, that was. You know what? Yeah, if he learns from the entry, I think the rest of it will come yeah. together for him. Oh, here he goes, here he goes. Had a bit of a moment on the entry in the second one. Yeah, that's the second one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so who's up next? Adam, you're up next. Not nervous. First ever competition. Get on that. This oh, one that's a squeeze. Have fun, Adam. From Adam, not bad at all. I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. He would have had the entry if that kid didn't spin. Yeah. Here comes Adam for his uh, for his judge run. Josh, I don't want to worry you, but you got a lot to follow up on. Yeah, it's not fair. They, they watch me, but I made all the mistakes. What was that? <laughs> 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 well done, buddy. Uh, messed up the entry. Went a little too fast. Too fast? No, it's not enough speed. No? No, it's not enough speed, too much, not enough angle. Not enough angle, but too much speed, yeah, yeah. Right, so it all comes down to this. Man of the moment. Best to take down at the last second. Best of luck. Thank you. What do we think? He's really good, but like he'll never admit it. Okay, first lap on Drift Week.
very impressed. That clutch kicked in on the second run, that's very good. We're very proud of you. Oh, thank you, buddy. That was good. <laughs> very good. All right, so we got to judge. We'll do a first, second, third. I'm going to get my vote. Third place, Wayne. How <laughs> you? <laughs> Second place. He's gonna leave your wheels loose next. Oh, I mean, <laughs> Josh had the smoother line, but he dropped wheels. He went off roading. He went off roading. <laughs> I'm gonna say that Josh won qualifying, though. I'm gonna say second place Adam, first place Josh. I'm gonna go first place Josh. Second place is a bit of a flick of the coin, but I'd say Adam. Well, I just want to give it to Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was good. I think it was that good. That was good, and I think. I think <laughs> Well, now Josh is gloating, so second for me is Josh. Yeah. First is Adam. Oh, I don't want to do. Do I don't want to wreck the car, and then he comes in and does donuts in the paddock. He loses his composure very quickly in that car, doesn't he? All right, so that was our little mini comp. We might do another one on another track. Let's do some more driving. Some amazing tandems with Jimmy. We're getting very comfortable with each other's driving, which is it's nice to have somebody else to go switch and lead and chase. We obviously will be mixing up with the rest of the boys for the rest of the trip. We're halfway through drift week now, and the cars, bar a couple of bumps, scrapes, and breakdowns, are pretty okay. We got a day off tomorrow where Wayne's gonna do a full once over on the car, service, plugs, oil, all that good stuff, put some mobile one in there. And to be honest, I'm really surprised the car has lasted this long. It's I'm absolutely in love with the thing, it's amazing. Everyone's drove it today, it's been amazing. Jimmy, we did some good stuff. Yes, that was great. We had some good fun. To be honest, I think from the first laps we did at Cam Acres to now, it's like a good progression. Yeah, I'm very proud of us. That was cool. I think it's, we, we haven't done too much damage, but then yeah. we, we left some character on the car. Made a count. Sorry yeah. for hitting your car again. Hey, you fixed it, so it doesn't matter. You actually did a good job fixing it. Do you have any uh, insurance claims that you need to uh, process and crash repair? You're People can talk to my yeah, people. Talk, yes, yes, we'll, yes, we'll do it. Anyway, that's the end of this particular section. We hope you guys have enjoyed the content so far. We've been loving the trip so far. It's been now three or four weeks since I've been home and I've been having a blast. I thank you guys for subscribing to the channel, liking and commenting below. A lot of nice comments about my driving. That's why I'm here, to be better at drifting. It's not about being the best drifter. I just want to leave every track a little better than I started. And I think I'm doing that in quite an underpowered car. So I'm having a great time. Also reminding you guys, the mystery boxes are coming soon. 
talked about it. It's gonna be a 200 euro mystery box with, for 150 euro. We're gonna have 125 euros worth of stuff for 100 euro. We're gonna put some crazy prizes in there. And we're gonna put some stuff with Jimmy at the bash in there as well. It's gonna be a lot of cool stuff for you guys who've been supporting us all year. Keep an eye on our social for more. For more videos, we'll see you guys in about two days for another update on Drift Week. See you then.